And it's a gut instinct of a human, let alone a medic, it's like reinforced to run out there and start saving lives. But there's just no way with the numbers you're dealing with that you can go in there. With 500 detainees and even a small compound, you know, you just can't go in there. Uh, all you got is, like I said, the chain link fences. So you have to wait until everything's calmed down, until they can isolate all the detainees away, and then they have to send a team in there. Safety was first. Safety and security was first. Medical care was next. It wasn't safe. There was just too much violence going on inside for us to, to get them out. A detainee died uh, inside the wire while we watched. And when you lose to death, you know, it's not something as easy to accept, you know, for any kind of human life. As, as a medic, you, even with American casualties, you're trained to, you have to evaluate the situation. Because if you go out there and get killed, and you, especially if you're the only medic, your unit in, is in real bad situation. I think in the situation at Camp Buka, I think almost all the values there, all of them at one point or another came in conflict, especially right off the bat when you're pumped up to go over there to help Americans to fight, you know, you know, for America and to just do your job as a medic. Um, when we had riots and there were MPs coming in as well as detainees, once again, you know, as a medic, you have that, you're the triage, you're triaging, oh, who do we treat first? You treat whoever uh, needs it most and who will benefit from it. You know, you know, not to the extent where, you know, you're treating someone who's going to die regardless. But you're going to treat the person who needs it the most who, and immediately. So, and if that's a detainee versus an American, then it has to be a detainee that gets treated. We easily increased the health of every single detainee there. Easily. They were in better health than they'd probably been in their whole lives. You go to war and, you know, all your jobs are important. But, but, but underneath that, as an American soldier, it's... It's just important to have that, those values instilled in you.